Well, we're back at it again, and uh, today we're going to do a little bit more on the trailer, get things ready to go. Uh, and I'll give you a shot of some of the things that I took care of uh, in the meantime, and then uh, what we're going to do today. So, I've got a lot of comments about my cabinets. Uh, inside the cabinets, I only have one bottom, and uh, everyone's asking if I'm worried about um, things being put inside and maybe falling through. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and install the false bottoms in all of our cabinets. And that way everything is nice and flat, things won't rock around, and we can add a little bit of weight in there, which uh, isn't going to amount to too much because I don't plan on putting a lot of heavy objects in all the cabinets. Just some clothing maybe, and uh, just some, some dry food and things like that. All the heavy stuff will be down below and uh, that way I won't have to worry about something falling through. So that's what we're going to do. I need to uh, cut a couple of support sticks, get our uh, plywood cut and trimmed and fit in place, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So one of the things that I did take care of is this has a, a deadbolt. And when I first uh, put the door in, I didn't cut a notch for the deadbolt. So I went ahead and took a uh, forcener bit and chiseled out here and cleared that pathway out. So I'm able to uh, secure the door when you're inside, lock it. Now, uh, now we're safe from all the critters. So that's one thing we took care of. The other one is down below. I installed vents on each side of the cabinets here. Uh, just to vent the car compartments so a little bit of air can flow through there. The uh, converter has been on since I installed it and uh, it runs, well, not all the time, but whenever the battery uh, gets low because I'm running the lights, it kicks on. But it doesn't generate a lot of heat, so uh, that's good. And I have yet to uh, try the inverter to see how much heat will be generated by that but I'm sure that's uh, that's soon to come so those are the things that I got done which didn't take very long we also need to install our fire extinguisher extinguisher and we're gonna put that down here by the door so we'll take care of that get some uh, bottoms in the cabinets and uh, yeah that'll be that all right, so this is what we've got so far. We added a couple of sticks here on this edge and we uh, pocket drilled some screws for attachment and we glued the crap out of it. So now our, we'll cut our plywood and lay that on top. I think I might just put one more stick over here uh, just to have something to rest on. And same down here, a couple of little pieces but that's it and then we can put our false bottom in and we'll see what it looks like cool all right so let's give you some progress so far so uh, there we go we have our bottom installed in our cabinet and uh, nice and solid so I did notch around for our wires coming through here and over here on the side and then I think what I'm gonna do is wire loom the uh, back side here so it looks nice and pretty when you lift that up and then the same back here we also have our false bottom installed if I can get it in focus come on focus focus oh hocus pocus do the focus all right there we go. So now we have our bottom in and uh, it looks nice. And I think it's going to work really well. Uh, now I can add a little bit of weight up there and not have to worry about anything. Uh, we still have one more left to do and then we will be complete with the bottoms of the cabinets far out. Alright, where are we at? So we've got two cabinets done 
and we've got uh, our support sticks in here. We've got our bottom cabinets in place and two cabinets here. And now we are ready to start on the front cabinet. So I've got four support sticks that I need to put in, uh, one on the front and on the back here. And then we can uh, cut our bottoms and we'll put those on. And then all that's left, I think what I'll do is uh, just take a staple and just one on each corner of the uh, false bottom that we're gonna put in. And we'll call that good. And that should give me plenty of support for uh, any little bit of weight that I wanna put in there. So let me get the last sticks installed and we'll get our bottom cabinet um, uh, cut and we'll fit those in place. Okay, so now that we have our base sticks here installed, and I used uh, the pocket, drill, pocket hole drill and uh, installed the screws here. That sucked it in. This is a nice little angle back here. Glue on the back, glue on the bottom, and uh, yep, that's going to provide support for the false bottom. So we'll get that cut and we'll get it set in here. And worry about tacking that down. Yeah. All right, so we have our bottom set in, in place. Now the only thing left is to go ahead and just tack it down in a couple of corners. That way it doesn't move around, it'll still have room to float. And uh, yep, we'll be done with the uh, installation of our cabinet bottoms. Woo hoo! And there we have it. So the bottoms are installed and I only tacked it in the four corners of each piece of wood here. So there's three pieces here. One, two, and three. Lays in there nice and flat. And yep, now we can put some weight on there. And that's, a, that's another quarter inch on top of uh, what we already had. So there we go. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll also put a little wall right here probably to hide these wires if I don't find a wire loom that I can use on these. I just don't want anything snagging them. But uh, And then I'm going to use a wire loom here, probably a one inch wire loom, cover all that so when you open this cabinet at least that one looks pretty decent. Yeah. And then of course the back is also finished. Nice. Nice. All right, so I think that's gonna conclude at least this video for what we got done. And then I'll show you what we have next um, in store. And kind of looking forward to that. We'll see how it turns out. So I am happy to say that we do have the bottoms installed in all the cabinets. Yay. So when we add weight in here, nothing's gonna drop through. So, and it does clean it up and look really nice. Covers all the wire tracks and stuff. So, uh, things are going to sit in there really, really well. So, all right, so that concludes that part. And we've got a couple more projects to go. We have about, oh, maybe four weeks left before our first trip. So, we need to get in gear and get a lot done. Mm hmm. And as always, I have to clean up my mess. So, I drug my air compressor out so I could be able to uh, tack in my uh, bottom there. And then we have uh, just, just a little bit of cleanup to go. Now, what are we going to do next? Next is going to be this wall. So we have some backsplash that we need to put on this wall. And uh, it took me a little while to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. And, uh, well, this is what I'm going to use. I have some aluminum. Uh, peel and stick backing that I think I'm going to put on here and that's actually going to go in behind like that. We're going to run that down here somewhere and another one will obviously run to the top like so and yeah and we're going to run that the uh, full length probably to about right here or so. Then we are going to use some more oak trim that we're going to go from right here straight down 
and then I'll probably put a piece of oak trim behind here under the cabinet just to kind of hide some edges and also a piece of oak trim here to hide an edge so that is our next task to get our backsplash up and installed so uh, kind of looking forward to that and see how that goes and uh, yeah so I think I have enough here we still have to install the uh, ex fire extinguisher I have some cabinet uh, um, I don't know what you call those holder openers anyway to install on our bench seating so when we open up the lids it'll keep the lids open and that'll be good so let me clean up and we will call this video a wrap so thanks for staying tuned thank you for uh, subscribing liking the channel and uh, watching as we continue to build this little tiny trailer and we're about ready to take our first trip so uh, I'm already thinking of a next project. I think we're probably going to do something very similar, except maybe a bathroom in the next one. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I guess that's it for this. So you know what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned.